And, and uh, all he has to do is uh, take his time. Wabatay sa kanya doon. Mark Isip, full about 3-4 inches taller. Suwaka doon, James, I just see Alex Lizano. Sobrang lapad itong mamang ito eh. Kapag may sabi itong si Eric Meg at Alex Lizano, masalubo mo sa pasilyo ito, wala kang dagtaanan. Ito. Ang madali na pasaan ng Wago Dragons, pero at Mark Isip, no way to go! Labang po ng isa ang uh, World Cup Dragons, 29-28. Almost two minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Oh, JJ, oh, oh, oh. Jack <laughs> What a move from JJ. Sasabihin ko ba naman, JJ, ni depensa ng World Cup, he's holding up, ha? <laughs> Nakakita ng butas. Ito pong si JJ Halterbrand. And he shot the gap for that basket. That's athletic ability of JJ Helderbrand right there. Actually, dalawang beses pa siya lumusot sa ilalim dun eh. Nasa rapan dun sa unang lusot niya sa ilalim sa uh, pagbabatay sa, pag sa kanya ni uh, Dulay. Inulit niya pa. And at the line is uh, J.R. Reyes. Sa yung dalawang Chris na nandito na yan. Chris Alexander at uh, Chris Ano. <laughs> Ginawa po muna si Eric Mengen. Super 2 para dito kay J.R. Reyes. Ngayon po, meron ng uh, walong uh, puntos. Top scoring local para po dito sa Wacko Dragons. Nine and a half to play here in the second and quarter. And again, ito pong Wacko grabbing the lead anew in this ball game. Elder Brand. Wala siyang tapot si Dulay ang kumukuha sa kanya. Alam niya sa kasahan eh. Oh, and uh, Mark Agui White will count. Umihingi ng traveling dito ang Wild Card Dragons. Mahalatawa rin si Mark Agui White. Oh, and uh, Mark Agui White found a way to get away. Tinamaan ng uh, tuhod dun. Ito si Mark Kagiwa. Of course, well coach saying that uh, after that, he traveled pag, pag release niya ng uh, bola. But obviously, may tama, mas may contact yung tuhod kay Mark Kagiwa. Ito naman, Mark Kagiwa to JJ Halterman. Wawala sa inyempre ito. Oh, push pass. Jerry is... Yes, he's such at home. Uh, with that slam dunk, mga kaibigan, nabawi muli ng World Code ang uh, lamang dito ni Pentaka Fair sa pagkita mo ng Hinebra at ng Wago Dragons dito po sa second quarter, 33 ang Wago, 32 naman ang Hinebra, we'll be right back. Para mga kaibigan, sa putong ito, puntang po natin natin ko sa partner Patricia Hisa. May report tungkol kay Jojo Tangkay, Patricia. Oh, Mon, this is in such good news for the fans and the family, of course, of Jojo Tangkay, who are wondering what's happening to him right now. He, he is in the locker room at uh, meron nga silang uh, inaakala na dislocate yung kanyang right elbow. And right now, they have immobilized his right elbow na sinabi nga rin sa akin ni Jojo Tangkay, eh, nawawalan na ng pakiramdam. And I was able to also see how dislocated that right elbow was. And I think they're gonna take him to the hospital right now for uh, the doctors to take a look. But you guys were wondering kung bakit hindi natin nakita ng matagal itong si Jojo Tangkay. This is actually his third game in this conference and only a few seconds into his third game that that happened to him. Now, he was gone for almost a year uh, because of last conference. Nagpalinis siya ng tuhod or nagpa-scrape sa kanyang right meniscus sa kanyang tuhod. So that has been the problem and the issues with Jojo Tangkai. That's why he's been playing sparingly this 
conference. Now, I want to actually switch quickly to the keys to winning Barangay Hinebras, able to listen in to their huddle earlier. And of course, the biggest issue for them right now is defense. The keys to winning at the start of the ball game is to limit the Welco Dragons to only 90 points and of course, to not give fast break points and turnover points kung saan magagaling ang mga Welco Dragons. Of course, special attention goes to Compton, Gaines, and Joe Devance. Back to you, Mon and Jason. All right, salamat sa iyo, Patricia. At, uh, ay, pag ako, nakakarinig ng mga dislocate-dislocate, uh, at matas yung malahibo ko. No? Pero, yung nga po, si uh, Jojo Tangkay, sana naman po, ay uh, malampasan niya ito. No? At, uh, ay, ay, nasa lakad pa rin naman, at tinitigan sa mga doktor natin. Ano? At, uh, ay nga naman, yung pangatlong uh, beses lamang na maglalaro si Jojo Tangkay in this conference. Uh, the second part of that report, I'm going to get Patricia, yung uh, keys para sa Barangay Hinebra. But playing defense, but the one thing that has been hurting them so far is turnovers. As I am, muntik na naman isang turnover. Ang dami nilang turnover sa quarter na to. Alex Misano magmimit is Mark Agiwa to save the day. Ewan ko ba, pero ba't itong uh, Barangay Hinebra at yung may bagong istilong uh, gustong uh, pangawalan dito, ha? Uh. Up-tempong uh, todo-todo itong uh, Barangay Hinebra, mga kaibigan. Adayan. Adayan. Ayusin natin ito, ha? At nagre-resulta rin kasi na isang dabak po sa turnover kanina, ginagawa na. But J.J. Halfin by Rule 5, from top of the key, nothing there. It's a three-point lead para po sa Hineba Jin King. Awako looking for a fifth win. Alam niyo, hindi pa po lumampas ng apat ang panalo nila. Kada po pinensya. And Donald Dula will fire. Deep three. Papasok po yan. Uh, Inebra switching up their defense into a man zone. And one way to break that outside shooting. Drive and kick. Kaya nalibre ito si, Do si uh, Tulay. At si Alex Pizano. Sari-sari tira na. Dito ka dito kay Alex Pizano. This time, na sumubok sa pumosin. At maraming naman. Baka mas maganda talaga niya pinapasahan sa open court dito si Alex Pizano. Si Alex Pizano will sit on the bench at papaso Rafi Rivas. Rafi Rivas now getting healthy. He's gonna get a couple of minutes in. Later to start of the season. Ngayon, babalik na siya. You look at Barangay Hinebra. It seems their lineup, the team is picked peaking at the right time. Bumabalik na yung mga players nila mula sa injury, tapos yung performance nila, gumaganda rin. But of course, in this game, Welco giving them a uh, run for their money. Oh, oh Jane, si Palpa mula kay Chris Alexander. Sumaludo pa. Ito si Chris Alexander. Pero pang Boy Scout lang yung saludo na ni Chris Alexander. Tatlong dali, daliri lamang. Nagay na nga. Ayan ha. Ito mo naman. Ito, laging handa. Ayan si Chris Alexander. Ayan po. Cup Scout pala. Dalawang daliri lang yan. Salito na ito si Alexander. Alright, dahil mga tayong time out, mga kaibigan. Tabla po tayo, 36 sa Web Ride Back. Oh, mga kaibigan, balik po tayo sa Renata Coliseum. Under 7 minutes to play. Dito sa ating second quarter. Hoy! At nakaadyan si Mr. Willie Marshall at noted columnist, Beth Celis, Commissioner Sunny Barrios, at PBL Commissioner, Chino Trinidad. Welcome back! Ano po eh, talagang uh, si Commissioner Chino, dalawang uh, tinuhog na kampinato niya. NBA mm. <laughs> at Pacquiao. Okay, Ito naman. Importante naman. yung ano, kay Manny Pacquiao. At uh, again, congratulations to Manny Pacquiao. Pinacquiao. Oh? <laughs> Pata titles na pa. <laughs> Salang isa lang masasabing, palato naman. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, oh, at... Uh, Ani na nga po, mga kaibigan, talaga sa mga po kayo araw na ito. Abay, si Pacquiao nga po na pag-uusama pagkat uh, kararating lamang ni Manny. At siya po yung nag-ikot. Ani kanina, nasa labas lang siya ng Arena da Coliseum eh. Alright. Ito po si Rafi Rimi, sa tawagan ng foul dito. So, sending again. Ito po si Marcus Gaines to the free throw line. Itong input ito, wala ka naman masabi talaga dito kay Marcus Gaines. Ano? Talagang blue collar worker at uh, matagang uh, import. It's just that hindi talaga masasabi, masasabi ba, hindi ba enough itong effort dito si Marcus Gaines per Welco? I remember, Welco is a team that was given the uh, opportunity to bring in two imports. Marquis and Gaines did uh, uh, average. Uh, you know, maybe uh, pasang uh, eksakto lang, pasado lang. What they needed was someone from the 6-1 uh, and under to really build up that team 
team to make them more competitive, but they were unable to find that in Corey Sandy. That's why they look to Alex Thompson a little too late, maybe. At ang hirap rin dahil uh, Alex Thompson had to cram uh, para makalaro siya sa konferensya ito. 